Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And welcome to our Faculty Development and Resident as Teacher Symposium 2022. My name is Alka Jacobson Dickman. My pronouns are she, her, and hers. It is my utmost pleasure and honor to welcome you, my colleagues and junior colleagues from both our home at the SUNY Downstate Health Science University and University Hospital Brooklyn, as well as from our esteemed affiliate hospitals throughout Brooklyn. Today's symposium represents our third annual undergraduate and graduate medical education collaborative faculty development and resident as teacher symposium. This collaboration exemplifies our value for this developmental continuum and partnership. Today, we have an absolutely over the top, talented and accomplished array of national, regional and local speakers spanning the professional spectrum from fellowship to the first African-American woman Dean of a medical school in the United States. I would like to acknowledge honored guests to our virtual platform today, President Wayne Riley, Dean Charles Brunicardi, and Senior Associate Dean Jason Lazar who will all be offering words of welcome during today's program. I would also like to make special mention of gratitude to Ms. Denise Chung and Ms. Pamela Bowman for their tireless administrative leadership. And also I'd like to thank my symposium committee partners in crime who will also introduce themselves momentarily, Dr. Teresa Smith and Dr. Melanie Chang. Dr. Chang, please let me pass the baton to you. So thank you, Dr. Jacobson Dickman. Uh, my name is Dr. Melanie Chang. My pronouns are she and hers. Uh, I just want to welcome everyone today uh, for our third annual symposium with, su with such exciting speakers. And I'm honored to be a part of this planning committee. Um, I just wanted to take some time to thank all of our affiliates, including Kings County, for their participation and support in putting together such an exciting day. Um, so welcome everyone, and I would like to introduce now Dr. Teresa Smith. Morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're very excited to have everyone. So it is my task to first start off with sharing the agenda. As Dr. Melanie Chang said, my name is Dr. Teresa Smith. I am the Associate Dean of GME. I go by she, her, hers. And this is our packed agenda for the day. So we will be starting off with remarks from our president, Dr. Riley and Dean Bernicardi. Then we will go to our plenary speaker, the opening plenary speaker, Dr. Bonnie Mason. After which we have several sessions uh, for the day, uh, keeping in mind that the theme of the day is professionalism, particularly in our clinical learning environment. What we would like for our audience to discuss, to ponder over is how do we keep our learning environments professional, inclusive, and comfortable for everyone. So we have several talks where we're gonna discuss communication, leading with love, guilt, shame are not the same and building psychological safety for the clinical learning environment, remediation, reimagine how we address professionalism disruptions. And then we'll have a closing session with our honored guest, Dr. Barbara Ross Lee to discuss her career her past and the obstacles that she went through and hopefully get some pearls of wisdom along the way. We'll do an interview session and I'll be honored to interview Dr. Barbara Ross Lee at the end of the day. So please make sure that you join us at any point. We realize and recognize that people have clinical responsibilities, but please you can sign on to the same Zoom. Um, also of note, the Eventbrite closed for registration yesterday at 10 p.m., but you can still use the Zoom. So if your faculty members are having um, an issue with the Eventbrite and they think the registration is closed, please just send them the Zoom link and they'll be able to sign on. Um, we would also like to say that our planning committee has purposefully chosen to use our first names. So we will not be using uh, doctors for ourselves because we are comfortable, but we've made that preference and we want everyone to know that. So going to our first honored uh, guest, Dr. Wayne Riley. President Riley is the 17th president of SUNY Downstate Health Sciences University. He's an academic primary care general internist with more than 25 years of executive management and leadership experience in academic medicine, healthcare management, government, and advocacy. Before joining Downstate, Dr. Riley had professorships at Vanderbilt University School of Medicine, Vanderbilt Owen Graduate School of Management. For six years, he served as the 10th president, chief executive officer, and professor of medicine at Meharry Medical College. 
Dr. Riley earned his bachelor from Yale University, his doctorate of medicine from Morehouse School of Medicine, as well as his master's of public health from Tulane and an MBA from Rice University. In June, alongside Dr. Anthony Fauci, Dr. Riley received the National Medical Humanism Medal from the honored Arnold P. Gold Foundation, where he's board secretary. Dr. Riley was elected in 2020 as a board chair for the New York Academy of Medicine, making him the first black board chair in the Academy's 173 year history. We thank Dr. Riley for joining us and introducing our symposium today. Well, good morning all. Uh, first of all, thank you, Dr. S uh, Dean Smith and, uh, and all the wonderful uh, colleagues uh, here at Downstate who have put this symposium together for the third year. Um, I know we all much rather be in person, so you know, fingers crossed that next year's next year's symposium can be in person. But uh, no, thank you for the invitation, and um, you know, I was very pleased to accept this invitation, colleagues, because it is not lost on me at any point um, in 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 my day uh, leading a downstate that my career uh, as an academic administrator started uh, working on on uh, education issues. Um, my first appointment was assistant dean for education at Baylor College of Medicine um, because I was directly immersed in graduate medical education, undergraduate medical education, uh, the education of PA students. That was my, my first portfolio uh, as a dean and I treasured those, those years um, working just on education in addition to providing clinical care for patients. So. Uh, the education focus of, of our institution, I think, is, has been tremendously enhanced uh, by the work of, of, of Teresa. Uh, it's been enhanced by the arrival of a fantastic dean and, and Dean Charles Brunicardi, who I recruited uh, to join us on the eve of us beginning an LCME process. Most people said it's, you, can't re you can't recruit a dean right on the, um, you know, right on the, uh, the, the ledge of having an LCME visit, but uh, kudos to Dean Brunicardi. He accepted to come back uh, to his residency alma mater uh, and has uh, superbly steered us through a superb LCME site visit. So I salute Dr. Brunicardi, my friend and colleague who'll speak to you next uh, for his belief in our strong education platforms, both at the UME and GME level. Uh, the professionalism, um, theme is very important, colleagues. I, I have always been of the view that uh, we have to make sure our learners, as we define our learners as the you know, third year medical student or uh, the second year uh, resident in whatever program, that we have to make sure that we educate and train physicians who go out into the world and have an understanding that professionalism is a critical component. It's the way we build trust with patients. It's the way that we build trust as a profession with communities is our sense of professionalism, our adherence to uh, you know, tactics, goals, and approaches that reflect best on our profession of medicine and us as individual practitioners and teachers of medicine. So this is a very timely uh, theme um, you know, this is a very strange time for all of us in an era of pandemic. Uh, I don't think any of us went to medical school thinking that we would have to uh, live through a worldwide pandemic, but here we are. But it's, it's important that we understand that within that context, you know, we have to hold firm to, to our approaches to be as professional amongst ourselves, to model and role model uh, professionalism for our students and residents, and to make sure, again, that we do everything we can to not only train them and to be good doctors, you know, uh, ultimately, but to be very professional and good doctors taking care of communities. So again, uh, Teresa, I salute all the great work you and your team have done in GME, and uh, couldn't be prouder of all the work that all of you do on a daily basis uh, for our great community. Uh, before I go, I want to welcome um, my dear friend. Uh, we were, we've were we known each other since medical school days. That's Dr. Bonnie Mason. Bonnie's been a terrific example of professionalism in her career, and uh, I'm sure she'll give you some great insights in, in, in some of her approaches and all the great things Bonnie's been working on 
uh, since we were together in medical school. So I salute my dear friend, Dr. Mason. And again, uh, Dr. Barbara Ross Lee is, is just a tremendous uh, exemplar of achievement and professionalism in healthcare as, as the first woman dean of a medical school, allopathic or osteopathic uh, in the country. So that is very impressive. And I, I'm sure she will give you some wonderful insights into her, her wonderful career and, and approaches and recommendations and things that you ought to think about as we do our work on a daily basis. So with that, uh, Teresa, I will turn it back to you to introduce Dean Bernacardi. Thank you very much, President Riley. It will be my pleasure to introduce Dr. Uh, and Dean Charles Bernacardi today. Uh, Dr. Bernacardi is a Senior Vice President and Dean of the College of Medicine at SUNY Downstate Health Sciences University. Um, Dean Bernacardi joined us two years ago, representing a return to his roots, as President Riley mentioned. This is the place of his residency training. He brought with him more than three decades of experience in academic medicine on the faculty of three medical schools and as chair of two departments of surgery and vice chair of another. His immediate past post was chair of the Department of Surgery at the prestigious University of Toledo College of Medicine and Life Sciences. He's had an illustrious research career, a continuously funded NIH NCI researcher, focusing broadly on genomic translational medicine and surgery, and specifically on pancreatic cancer and social determinants of health. Dr. Brunicardi has published over 300 papers and has served as editor-in-chief of Schwartz Principle of Surgery, the leading surgical textbook. Dr. Brunicardi earned his undergraduate degree in chemistry at John Hopkins University and his medical degree at Rutgers University of Medicine. As mentioned, his residency was right here at SUNY Downstate. Dr. Brunicardi just celebrated his second year anniversary with us at SUNY Downstate Health Sciences University. As Dr. Riley said, he joined at the cusp of a global pandemic and an LCME cycle year. One of his many expertise is in leadership training, and I can attest personally that his skills were certainly put to the test, particularly as a newcomer. He rose to the occasion with flying colors and then some. We are very grateful for his triumphant return. He has often mentioned that at the top of his priorities are diversity, equity, and inclusion, and professionalism. So how appropriate for him to offer some words of introduction today for our professionalism symposium. So please help me in welcoming Dr. Charles Brunicardi. Well, thank you, Elka. First of all, I'd like to thank President Riley for his kind words. Uh, it is my greatest honor to serve as the Dean of Downstate, my training alma mater. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, I am delighted to join President Riley and welcome you to this important symposium. I would like to congratulate Associate Deans Teresa Smith and Elka Jacobson Dickman in organizing this most timely symposium. The theme of the day is professionalism in the clinical learning environment. A key pillar of our college of medicine is creating and maintaining professional, inclusive, and comfortable learning environments for all of our learners. It is paramount that our faculty role model professionalism for all our students and trainees. This symposium is an excellent opportunity to set the tone of the educational mission on maintaining professional clinical learning environments. Downstate is committed to ensuring that our learning environment for our fellows, residents, and students is conducive to the ongoing development of appropriate professional behaviors across the institutional training sites. Professionalism contributes to all of our learners becoming compassionate and ethical physicians. Today's faculty development and resident as teacher symposium will discuss many of the aspects of professionalism across the learning environment. I too would like to join President Riley and welcome our distinguished guests, Dr. Bonnie Mason, former Vice President of Diversity and Inclusion at the ACGME and now CMO of Diversity, Equity and Inclusion of the American College of Surgeons. Dr. Mason will be the opening plenary speaker and in welcoming Dr. Barbara Ross Lee, who is President of the American Osteopathic Foundation and was the first African-American woman to be appointed Dean of a US medical school. 
Dr. Ross Lee will be the closing plenary speaker. I look forward to this exciting and most timely symposium. And once again, congratulations to Associate Deans, Teresa Smith, De Teresa Smith and Elka Jacobson Dickinson in organizing this important and timely symposium. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dean Bernicardi.